Right, hello everyone and welcome back to the Cry channel and today you're back, you see seeing my face and that is because I'm going to be showing you a quick little tutorial guide on how I make my cinematics. Now I'm being inundated with no comments on this question so I thought I'd answer it anyway before I get any comments in the near future and I will be recording these in near enough the same way so hopefully if you learn something new then do definitely press the thumbs up and subscribe it'll mean the world to me so yeah let's get straight into the video but first a little teaser of what the sort of thing you can make with what I've been making over the past few days so there'll be a timestamp on the screen when the actual tutorial starts enjoy So first what you want to do is pick the car that you're going to use the cinematic for and we are going to do it in this majestic Ford GT. Now I picked this because for a couple of reasons it looks really cool and it sounds amazing. Now location is pretty important so you want to pick a decent well, especially if it's night time like this, a decent well lit area and what sort of thing that you want to make. So I am gonna I'm gonna be doing it down here near where this plane is now What you want in this kind of video is you want some foreground you want some background you want some maybe different um, settings, but yeah, so Photo mode and one thing that I do have to point out in Forza when you go in photo mode It doesn't actually freeze the day night cycle anymore, which is really really annoying So I do hope they fix that I get why, but it's really, really annoying when you take pictures at night and then five minutes later it's daytime. So, Forza, please fix that. So, here you're in photo mode, here are my settings. The only thing I would ever change from my diff it will be the exposure. Take night time to make it a bit brighter. I'm going to put it on about 55 there. And then it is up to you whether you want car lights on, but I do find it a bit harsh sometimes and a bit annoying, so I do turn them off at least a 2.5 to a 3 times zoom to get that depth of field effect and then here we are some pretty nice pictures Let's, there we go simple that's a thumbnail for you maybe we'll see so I'm on controller oh god I keep bumping the mic I'm on controller so I'm going to be showing you uh, from a top down perspective on how I move my fingers and thumbs around because you have to move it very slowly and at a certain like angle to get these decent like slow shots so I will be showing you that now right so you catch me my phone is on top of my mic that was the best place I'd be able to mount it so you can see what my fingers are doing so right what I usually start with is a bit of scenery shot so what I do is I move one way and then move it the other way to get that turning look so that is something that I use a lot because I think it looks the most cinematic in these sort of shots. So you do that for about, I'd say, 10 seconds to get enough footage to play with. And then again, if you want to make that a bit longer, you can. And then you can mess with the triggers as well. So I will do the same sort of thing. Turn that way, turn that way, and then I'll press lightly down the trigger. There we go. And that is all you're moving with your hand. It is quite, quite finicky to get started because sometimes you move a bit too quickly, a bit too slowly. However you like it is completely up to you. Now this is what I mean by the day and night cycle doesn't say the same. So we started at night time and now it is daytime. So now we've got the exposure all fixed. Now we are doing some more scenery shots. So like I said, you do the upwards and then you can go in the same direction to get a sort of a pan across. And then you can do some like foreground to car shots. So like this one, I'll all I'll do is I'll push. i oh, sorry, I'll push forward. So we'll be going through the leaves onto the car. And this is a pretty cool looking shot. To say I'm just making it for the sake of it. 
Um, I'll be making a cinematic of this car because obviously I'm doing it for you now. And that's all that one was. Forwards and then up as well. Like that, it does look pretty nice these shots. And then some shots of the wheels now. I usually start from one side of the other, it doesn't really matter. Then you push one way and then push back the other. So we're gonna go like this. Speed it up a bit and then it's just about getting that speed and balance right on how quick you move, how quick you rotate in to get a smooth like transition look. So yeah, that is all I have to teach you for these sort of shots. This is how you sort of mess around with it. You've seen my sort of what I do. So I do hope you enjoyed this little quick how-to guide on how I make my cinematics. I hope you have learned something and yeah. So if you enjoyed this video, please do subscribe. It does mean the world to me. I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers still. We have been around 900 for nearly three months. I don't know why it's been so stagnant. I've been uploading regularly, but I do really hope that I can get to a thousand before my birthday. It doesn't seem likely, but let's try and make it happen. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure you do subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. So until then, peace.